Right, folks, here we are on Fort Hill Road, where my question of today is, these things perplex, perplex me. See these uh, lines in the middle of the road, right? Now, why are they dotted lines? Why aren't they uh, just one big solid line? And also, why are some of the lines longer than the others? You get Sometimes you get little short ones, but like these ones here, they're kind of long. So what is the, who invented them? Why are they there? I mean, I know obviously they're there to separate the two halves of the, uh, the road, but it's just a, an interesting question. I just don't understand why, why are they dotted? Why don't we have just one, one, um, one line, one big long solid line? I don't know, folks. Anyway, that's today's perplexing, perplexing moment of the day. Thank you. Folks, well, very good afternoon. You find me here on top of Carrot, Carrot Hill. Come up here for a little look, but it's absolutely blowing a hooli here, man. So I've had to get the microphone out because uh, you don't want any wind noise on the Jag Lives video. Solo bro, he loves the wind noise, but not here. Right, so uh, to come to Carrot, this is a place called Carrot. Very strange, I'm not sure why it is called Carrot, but it's uh, got something to do with the vegetable. I do not know. Oh, look at this, man. We've got a a viewpoint thing here but it's really really faint yeah, you can see it says carrot hill viewpoint um in variety millennium project something to do with that then so we've got all these places but so it's quite hard to see really look so there's glen clover just way over there so what a, what a view though that's quite an interesting point uh originally the two parishes inver inver wraith and methy lower in variety is bisected by a burn one of only a few in scotland which flows inland that's quite interesting from lundley den towards Fodenham. oh yeah oh my god blown away there it is folks uh wonderful views you get from here i must say absolutely wonderful uh, <laughs> like it's just blown up it's just gonna be impossible to do anything here i was gonna go for a walk over there but oh i had a gunshot there a gunshot folks yeah it's not a great view though i'm gonna just chill here for a minute or two Well, I don't think I'm going to really be able to do anything here. There's a few folk here now. It's very popular with dog, with dog walkers, this place, I think. So we'll just have a little, a little stroll up to the edge here and then come back again. All right, folks, we've got just a bit of a, a, bit of a blow out there. So what we'll do is we'll go down the road a bit to our next destination. We'll find uh, a hidden viaduct just off the road. Yes, well, hopefully it won't be as windy because there's trees and woods and things. We'll be in a, a sheltered place. Whew, oh, my hair, man. Look at that. So, a very good morning, folks. As you can see, it's uh, it's the middle of June and look, it's raining. <laughs> I've got a hat on. <laughs> hey! Right, today, folks, something different for breakfast. I went into Goodfellow and Stevens there and I got myself sausages on a roll. Now, Bro and I are big fans of sausage on roll. So, and you also get a, a tin of juice, uh, and for two pounds twenty, man, that's not bad, is it, for your brekkie? So there we go. We're going to have this. I don't know. I'm going to sit here in the car park and hell anything though, because well, maybe we'll just people watch kind of here. Yes, I think I'll do it. See, do that. Right, there we are, folks. That's the afternoon's work finished. Bit of a, a dreek afternoon. It wasn't that busy, really, so... Well, we're going home now. Don't really, I'm not going to have any tea because I uh, I had a ham sandwich and some chips at work there, so I'll just go home and chill now for a couple of hours. See, that's what I do. I do split shifts. We're finishing half three. Don't go back till six. I know, it's a, but I'm so used to it, man. Well used to it. Okay. 